Hi everybody, this is Lars from CatCamStuff.com. In today's video, we're going to look at Fusion 360's 3D printing utility. Now, Fusion 360 um, is, is a cloud-based program um, that Autodesk offers, and it comes in two different flavors. It's coming in Fusion 360, and then there's Fusion 360 Ultimate. But in the standard Fusion 360, what we're going to look at today, uh, they have some neat uh, fabrication tools in there. One of them being uh, this neat uh, 3D printing utility. So that's what we're going to check out. Just a few minutes. That's all it takes. Let's jump into Fusion 360 here. And uh, what I have here is I have, um, well, I have this, this little fixture that is holding uh, a couple of castings. It's a, like a, a throttle body for, for a car. Uh, but it's holding a fixture that then is holding a vise and then is sitting on a machining table. Um, now, one of the things that is interesting about 3D printing is that it had been around for a long time, um, but it's not just for fancy prototypes anymore. Um, it's really getting its way into uh, manufacturing world, and they're finding a lot of different uh, utilities for it. So the reason I brought this model up is that uh, for myself, coming from a manufacturing standpoint, fixturing is one of the interesting ones. Um, now, if you're going to do some heavy machining uh, in a fixture, 3D printing maybe don't be your, your case. But if you're doing some light machining or even like inspection of things like that, um, 3D printing is actually pretty awesome, right? Um, because you can model something up in 3D and then you can print it overnight. And um, versus if you got to machine it, you got all the stuff, you got all the steel, and you know it costs money in cutters and things like that. Now Fusion 360, um, it, it's super easy to use, and uh, and the, this 3D printing utility in here is 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 pretty neat. So let me show it to you. So the way it works is that we have this. I have this assembly here, right? Uh, for people who don't know too much about uh, 3D modeling, we have these uh, solid bodies around here. So each of these components is kind of like considered a solid watertight body uh, in here. And they're all like existing over in what we call a feature tree over here or a body or assembly tree over here. So if I click on some of the different things, you will see that if I click on this mighty bite, you will see the clamp inside of here gets selected, that body, those bodies get selected. Um, and I can also go in here to the throttle body fixture, and you will see that that gets selected. Now to save it out as uh, to uh, the 3D printer, we're using STLs. And all you do is you right click on the, on the, the part you want, and you can say right here, save out an STL. Now if I click on that, I get this little dialogue over here, and you get some, some neat options. One of the things you can do is you can preview the mess. So that's what an STL is. Uh, it's just triangle, uh, that it kind of like creates triangles around your body. Now you do have some, some neat refinements options in here. So if I click on the refinement options, you will see all the different options. And you can, of course, also just cheat by going in here, and there's already some presets uh, in here, what is, is very neat. But that's really all we need to do, right? We, we need to take and save this body as a STL within the tolerances we want. Now the output format in here, sent to the 3D printer, if I check that, um, there's a, a neat thing. If I just go to custom, I'm just saving out the STL you can import. But Autodesk actually has a product called Mess Mixer. Now Mess Mixer is actually free. Uh, so you can go to messmixer.com, and I'll put uh, the link in, um, in in the in the blog post. And you go to Mess Mixer, and you download this uh, really neat utility. So let me just show it to you. If you leave it on a Mess Mixer and I hit OK, uh, you will see that is uh, that Autodesk Mess Mixer launches here. And what is neat? Well, my uh, 3D connection mouse actually works in here. Well, that's that's neat in itself. But what you will see is we will see our fixture, and then you look here, and you will see it says Make a Bot. Well, because Autodesk Mess Mixer actually already have a bunch of printers in here, so you can actually go in and you can find you know depending on what kind of of a 3D printer you have. Um, so I can go in here and say, well, maybe I have a Stratus Fortis, and you will see that the working envelope changes because well. 
that working envelope is is bigger so that's a way that you can switch around in here you can actually also add support materials you can move things around set it up so you can really see how it's going to work in here so that's autodesk mesh mixer what is in, uh, as soon as it's installed then um the the fusion 360 will see it when you save it out let me just exit out of that again we're not going to save it here. So really all you do was you right click on the body you want to save out as an STL. And there is that 3D printing utility. Super easy. You can change the way you want things to look. And then you can just send it out either via through mesh mixer like I just did. Or you can do it as a custom and just save out the, the, ST, the STL file like that and bring it into your 3D printer. Also, if you want to do the whole uh, assembly, you can also just right click on the top the highest one up and save that all out as an STL. Now it's actually going to save out uh, everything I have in here on the body. But really need a fabrication tool here in, in the Fusion 360 uh, format to save out to your 3D printing. So I hope you, uh, you found this little video helpful. Uh, getting started with Fusion 360 and this really neat little uh, 3D printing utility. As always, you're more than welcome to comment or you can write me at Lars at CatCamStuff.com. And, you know, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to uh, see you back soon and have an awesome day. Thank you.